Laying out forms in Access is a fairly straightforward process, provided you've got the data table set up, but there are one or two potential pitfalls you can run into if you're not careful. One of them has to do with the tab order. When we open a form, it's the sequence of fields that the user moves through with the tab key. Arranging the fields in a logical order, the order they're in on a paper form makes sense, but it turns out neatness counts. If I arrange the fields in a typical form like this one in a normal way, and I start hitting my tab key to move through them one at a time, we can see that we move through them in what we would expect as a normal way, first name to last name, address, city, state, etc., just as we might have that information on a paper form. However, in the second example I'll show you here, if one of those fields happens to be sitting a little bit above its buddies in whichever row, let's say the last name field here, if you look closely you can just see it, I start tabbing through the fields and we move to last name before we move to first name and after that it proceeds normally. So a field that sticks up a little bit above the others in the row kind of gets dibs on the tab order and not too many people have the hand-eye coordination to make that perfect every time. So what we have to do is fix the layout. There are a couple ways to do it. Usually the safest thing to start with is to go to Design View and then in Design View we can go to the Form Design Tools tabs, particularly the Design Sub tab, and over here in the Tools group we can click on the button for Tab Order. Now if I move the box off to the side a bit we can see that last name comes above first name. So we're looking at the top to bottom sequence of fields. We can manually reorder them if we want. We can grab a hold of last name and drag it down below first name if we wish. But it's better to be neat, that is, in terms of the layout. So instead what I'll do is cancel out here. I want to uh, select the field that's sticking up, last name. I can grab its movement handle so that it moves separately from the label to the left of it and literally just drag it down a hair and the problem is solved. Or, better still, we can shift click or otherwise select the other items in the row. We can go to the Arrange tab under Form Design Tools, go to Align, and click on the command for top which lines all the top edges up. And if we want we can even use the right clicking technique, go to the same command here in the pop-up menu, again click on top, and then to be absolutely sure we've got everything right, click a blank spot, go back to the design tab, jump over to tools as before, click on tab order, and if the fields don't reorganize we can now use the auto order to take a hint from the layout of the form and we can see that the fields are now in their quote-unquote proper order, first name, last name, address, city, state, and so on, after which we can click OK. And the problem is solved. I flip back to Design View, tab through to make sure that everything is going in proper order, and there we are. Save the file, of course, and then close. Sometimes a form will have its fields and labels grouped together in what the program calls a layout, sort of a frame to hold the fields and labels in a particular arrangement as in this third example here. The tab order is different and the layout of the fields is a bit different as well. But the problem with the layout is that it sort of locks the fields and labels in place. In order to move them around, in order to reorder them, we have to go to Design View again. We can click one of the fields or labels and this dashed frame here tells us we've got a layout doing its thing. So we have to click the button or marker at the top left to select the whole layout, go to the Arrange tab under Form Design Tools, and click Remove Layout, after which we can proceed to the cleanup and other alterations as I've already described.